hi guys welcome back to the react chess video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the component did update so these are the some points that we are going to cover in this video when we can use the component did update how we can use it component update with the uh, state and with the props and uh, how we can use a component did update with the condition and update state also all right so this means that how we can update the state inside the this lifecycle method so now let's uh, start with the first question when we use the component did update all right so when uh, any states and props will be going change then this function uh, this lifecycle method will be automatically called all right now the second thing uh, how we can use it so now let's start with the code so usually you can see that this uh, uh, we have a small component so first of all to update this i'm just going to make a state and i'm just going to update it on the button click all right so if you don't know about the state you can watch our previous video link in the given in the description box so i'm just going to make a constructor first of all inside the constructor i'm just going to call the super method so that i can use uh, this and here i'm just going to use uh, this dot state with uh, a state name with the counter the initial value of its is zero all right so now i'm just going to make a button here i'm just going to make a zoom it out so that you can read better and just wrap it all right so i'm just going to write here update counter and on the button click I'm just going to call a function uh, I'm just going to update a state just use an arrow function here and just write here this dot set state and here I'm just going to update my counter and counter always will be going to plus one so that this is with this dot set uh, this dot state dot counter plus one all right and the counter will be also showing on button itself so just going to write here this dot state dot counter now you can see that initial value is zero whenever i'm just going to call it they are just going to update all right so now i'm just going to make a here component did update function I'm just going to use it and I'm just going to console also here method called whenever I'm just going to update the state you will see that this function is automatically called now you can see that every time I'm just going to call this is also calling that means component did update will called on every state all right so now it will provide a great functionality with the parameters also so i can use the parameter also so, all right so first parameter used for the previous uh props and second use for previous state and third will use for snapshot you can put the any name of your parameters that you want so i just use the uh smallest name that i can use all right so this is a snapshot and it will rarely use with the some another ma life cycle method they are not going to work here so now let's focus on the both of this and the previous proofs we cannot use for now i will use it just after few minutes uh, to make a child and parent component but now i can use on the previous state if i'm just going to print it out then you will see if my current state value is two then it will be one it will always show the previous value okay let's see how now you can see that my current very uh, state value is one but it's showing the zero it's always be one counter behind all right so it will tell that what is the previous state so let's say if you want to just match it like previous state equal equal to this dot set state dot counter they are equal 
then we can just use something console dot match and we can perform any operation inside this if condition also all right but unfortunately there is a no way that you can uh, match this one all right but you cannot match for the match you can just put your condition like this okay so maybe there's some issue with previous state dot counter all right now you can see that this is able to match all right and i can perform any operation here but keep in mind that you should not use the uh, set uh, you cannot you should not use the set state here without any condition if you do that it will be going to infinite loop because when you just update it it will automatically cold and when it it will automatically call the state will be automatically update all right so if you want to update something then put inside the condition so let's see if i just update the state here without any condition just make it default here and just copy it here and paste here then you will see that it will be going to be inside an infinite loop all right and this is the same as that i told you all right so if you want to update it then you can only condition like if ps dot counter less than 3 then it should be only update all right less than to the 3 now you can see that after the fourth it will be automatically stop all right so this is a nice way you can update the state here but on the condition it will be very dangerous to be update the uh, state without the condition all right so now let's see that how it's work with the props also so now what i'm just going to do i'm just going to make a child component here also so for that i'm just going to copy it so that i can paste it directly i don't need a component mount here now so i'm just going to remove it from here and my component name is child all right so whenever i'm just going to click here then state will be uh data will be this dot set this dot state dot counter okay so when the state will be updated the props will be automatically update of the child component that's nice so i'm just going to remove it for now just write here something like child component that's good just put here some small h2 tags like so i don't need uh, this button here i can just uh, use the props anywhere else like here this dot props dot data dot data all right now let's see uh, i think there is some issue i think this is this should be counter all right so now you see that whenever just uh, we update the state the child component also going to be update here all right and in this case let's check the counter so now i'm just going to use the p p here 
and now you will see that here you will got the props here all right yep inside you will got the data zero whenever i'm just going to update it it will tell me the previous state also all right so if i'm just going to with the current then uh, current props then i can just check this dot props dot data then you will find the difference between previous and current data also uh, previous and current props all right so i can just use here if you want to just use then you can use the data also directly all right this one is the previous one and this is one the current one so you can put any condition here you can use the conditional prop statement and whatever you want to use so this is all about the uh, component did update method if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks a lot for watching this video